I tell people, if you want to think about tax planning, think about your structure. I have clients that come to me, they were paying maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 something thousand last year because of their structure. When you go through a structural change, you can save $100,000 just because of one thing that you did because of the structural change. People don't take care of. When you talk about tax planning, the IRS will kill you just because you don't have your books and records. Many entrepreneurs think they, can, think they can do their bookkeeping themselves. And I say this out of experience. My tax resolution process, one of the biggest areas where we struggle with is with those solopreneurs. They are focused on what they are doing and then they are not doing anything about bookkeeping. They start by thinking, I can do it myself. But before two weeks, you're not doing nothing and it piles up. And when you want to do those compliance with the IRS, you don't have nothing. When you don't have nothing to show the IRS, you have to pay everything because you cannot justify anything to the IRS. So that's why I say you cannot be penny wise and pound foolish. Get a proper bookkeeper to be taking care of your books. Focus on those things and allow them to do their job. That is gonna save you. That's a big, big, big uh, tax avoidance tool. I had many clients because I did hundreds of PPPs for people. And we're going to talk about some of the things that are available now. But people will come to you and because they were not structured properly, either they were, somebody will come to you and he doesn't even understand what structure he has. Yeah. He has maybe a, a C corporation and his taxes are prepared by someone who doesn't look at those and prepares his taxes as if he was a, 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 a sole proprietor. Yeah. That means that you cannot combine those two and then apply for anything for them. Just because of the inadequacies between the structure of the company and then the tax filing structure that was presented to the IRS, you don't have any way to get that guy to apply for maybe, he was qualifying maybe for 300,000, 500, he cannot get nothing just because of that. Because some person screwed his business from the start. And remember, in the United States, you don't need to register a business to start. Yeah, Especially if you are a sole proprietor. As a sole proprietor, you can run your business for as long as you want, and you don't need to file with the, uh, with the uh, Secretary of State's office. So you file as a Schedule C. And we saw so many people who basically were not filing in that appropriate structure. They could not have access to certain things. Or some people who, were, who thought that I needed to structure my business before I can start any business. There's a lot of areas there. Again, when you talk about structure, the key structures in the United States, you talk about a sole proprietor, you can start your business and be doing it anyhow. When you want to prepare your taxes, the tax preparer will put you on a Schedule C. If you are an LLC, what we see is that most people have LLC. They don't understand that there is something that you call an election with the IRS. Because the IRS doesn't understand LLC. LLC is a governmental thing with the Secretary of State's office. When you go to the IRS, they will default you. If you're a single member LLC, they will default you to a Schedule C, mm -hmm. as if you're a sole proprietor. And then if you are multi-member, they will make you to a big partnership. Then you will have to file the 1065, which is for partnerships. Mm -hmm. And most, many tax preparers don't understand this as well. And then if you are a C Corp, you have to file an 1120, or you can elect anything you want. When you are an LLC, you have to elect. And that election on LLC alone is a big place where we have those problems of self-employment taxes. That's a big area. So again, you have to understand all these structures, whether you're what structure and how to elect with the IRS, because that election is what is going to avoid you taxes. You know I have this client who told me, when I asked them, what is your business? She just told me, I'm an S Corp. And I said, you are an S Corp. I said, did you register that as an S Corp? She said, she's an S Corp. So you go ahead and then you prepare when somebody is an S Corp. If somebody tells you that she's an S Corp, you just go ahead and prepare an 1120S for tax purposes. And then you come to realize she was an LLC. Someone just told her that, okay, you, you can file as an S Corp. She has no election for escort. So those things that you're talking about, people
people, there are so many people who have structures. And I, we see that this time because there's a lot of programs with the SBA, with the United States government that is giving money out to business people. And then if you're not structured properly, you're not filing properly, you don't have access to that money. So there's a lot of people who are trying to do amendments for so many years just because they were not doing that properly in the first place. And that is where all these tax planning and issues come in. You have to understand those. We have a very strong Spanish team. In my office, the office manager is a Spanish speaker. And we have three other Spanish speakers who are working from my office. So when you come to our office, we have a lot of Spanish people. We work with a lot of truckers. We work with a lot of healthcare people. We work with a lot of small business people. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, we are not limited by language and our office has different, we have Mandarin people, we have people who speak Vietnamese. So we have a lot of different languages spoken with. You can cover the mosque. Exactly, in the, in the exactly, exactly. All right, yes. thank you very much. I appreciate that.